A simple farmhouse in the middle of the rice fields in central Java, riddled with bullets and bombs. For 17 hours, the anti-terror police assaulted the suspected hideout of Southeast Asia's most wanted man. The sound of explosion and machine gun fire dominated a normally very quiet rural area throughout the night. Only after explosives and bullets destroyed parts of the house did the police dare to go inside. They feared the man who is known as a master planner of bomb attacks in Indonesia was holding explosives. By late morning, the long and spectacular siege that was being watched by many Indonesians live on television was over. A body believed to be that of Nurdin Top has been brought to Jakarta for identification. It's not clear when the police will officially be able to confirm that it is indeed the man they have been trying to hunt down for nearly seven years. In another development, police raided a house close to Jakarta and found 500 kilograms of explosives ready to be used. According to the national police chief, these bombs were supposed to be used in two weeks from now on what he calls specific targets. Local media have reported that one of these targets was actually the private residence of President Yudhoyono, only seven kilometers away from the raided house, but this is not confirmed. Three people arrested in the Jakarta suburb are, according to the police, connected to the last deadly bomb attacks in Indonesia on July 17 at the Marriott and Ritz-Carlton hotels. The latest bomb attacks are still very fresh on people's minds. It's been only three weeks ago when nine people got killed here at these central Jakarta hotels. If the police indeed managed to kill the alleged mastermind of these attacks so soon after they happened, it will be a major achievement. After these dramatic raids, the Indonesia police hope to have caused a severe blow to what they call a terrorist network. The question remains whether without Nurin Top, the small radical network will be capable of committing more attacks in the future. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.